welcome to build and brawl. Choose a builder, just like him. Choose a base. Green equals units, blue equals mana, yellow equals gold. Train units to defend your base. Use your builder's items. Which you get from constructing buildings. Remember your ally. So this is a four player map and it puts you in two versus two situations. Which randomizes each turn. A monster is spawned, which can be killed for bonus gold, although I think only one player will get the gold, or maybe the team. But at least everyone gets lumber as well. I'm getting too old for this. My name is Clumsy Dame. So random builder, rotating teams, show tool tips is the default, which is fine with me. So we'll go with that. You can do all pick. So, some people choose what they're going to do. I'm going to just say all pick here to give players the choice of what it is they're going to do. Looks like I've been teamed up with Dower Child. Basically, I'm good to go. So, the round starts. So, you have to choose one of these. So, let's say, for example, the heart which I think is about gold. You get a tool tip that can help you on what to build, at least uh, from my experience you do. Although I don't have the builder. Don't have the lumber. So I'm not sure I've got to pick one of these. I think I might have to pick one of these. So let's go get the miner because I think he's related. So what you do is you get yourself, I think the burrow to begin with. Another option is to set up your base. Okay, so an extremely powerful combo is setting up your base to hut and building a burrow. Both trained tunnelers will trigger the hut's null summon ability. So this is training the tunnelers. And then whenever you train a unit with a building, summon one null. So you're summoning units, which should give you a null as well. You can increase the amount of nulls you get through lumber upgrades or upgrade to roost. Okay, my little units are coming out. Uh, we are against the Fassar Fool, playing as the modern technology. They're both gone like the modern technology. We're the ultimate army. Okay. Could just be a name. My knoll is still up for grabs. I've got crystal mines, veins, ore veins, shaft, fishes. I might get a second burrow just for the time being. Set up the armies first and then I can read the tool tips. Speaking of which, I'm going to upgrade the Noel army. Just put the pressure on since we got them. So, build a mine for example. Whenever a touching building trains a unit, this building gains gold equal to the u train unit's maximum life. Okay, I see. I don't think you can sell for 100%. Right, no. But we could put the mine next to one of these, for example. I wonder if I could almost place it like there, so it's technically touching both of them. You see what I mean? I don't know. I might give it a go. Okay, so let's get the mine down. And put it like this, so technically it's touching both buildings. You can see I've got items here. Cobalt boss. So we don't really need to use that at the moment. We may as well hold on to it. Summon one boss and gain 25 gold for each tunneler and play. Well, I, maybe I should do that. I've got a lot of gnolls, but I don't necessarily have that many tunnelers, actually. We've got a couple of tunnelers. There. The more units. So we've got quite a lot of units. So I'm going to do one of those, actually. Do one of each. Summon one golem. Just a tough, tanky dude. We get the uh, gold, which is very nice. So we've got upgrades I can still do. So let's keep upgrading the Null Army since that gets out of hand. So the first round or two is going to be pretty spicy. Because uh, players are getting used to how the game works. So I'm going to get another Null Burrow next to this. Just almost surround this with burrows. Yeah, there, there you go. So you have to take out one player. 
very quick, very fast, but you'll get used to it as the game goes on. Try different races as you go. So I'll just go random now, which gives me the cultist. Try setting your base to Necropolis to combo with your killing spells. From there, you can either build Muck Wounds for aggressive or spam Strangling Fruit. Other players will hate you. All oh, right, maybe Strangling Fruit then. So Necropolis, yeah? So we are on the Lucky Mountain team, the Lucky Mountain team. We're against the Magic Storm. So, I've got an item. This game actually has quite a lot of depth to it, but it's quite fun and pick up and play. But my goodness, it would be a lot easier if uh, you just kind of knew every single race and combination. Because, as you can see, pretty much playing blind. I can't remember. I think you start off with the muck wombs, is what it said. And then go with Strangler Fruit. Deals X damage to every unit where X is the number of charges remaining. Okay. So, what else? We can summon long dead. Whenever you kill a unit with spell damage, summon one long dead. Okay, so you're wanting to kill them with spell damage, really. Adds plus one to annihilate. Annihilate is like a base ability based on the mana. So, 30 mana, and I've got up to 150 mana. Gain one charge whenever a building touching an evil eye trains a unit. So, maybe get evil eye. Done. Whenever a touch and building trains a unit, this adds plus one charge to annihilate. Random enemy base. So am I doing damage to him? Yeah, X damage is only two damage though. <laughs> so I'm not sure about that. Kills one random unit owned by each player. That's not target monsters or horrors. So there's a monster there. We're off to a slow start. I don't know whether the strangled fruit should be built here or like just on the outside. Oh, okay. So deal X damage to a random where X is the number of charges remaining. Oh my goodness. So gonna have to really take a while then to build up those charges. My ally is getting absolutely destroyed, so I'm going to have to press buttons or something until something's gone horribly wrong over here. I'm out of mana, but he's going to die any second, and I think we lose if one of us dies. Uh, well, that button did the trick. What you want? Don't think strangling fruit's going to be that useful now. I'm going to get whatever this is. Don't have the time to read the tool tips. Not in full detail, at least straight away. So you can absorb life equal to attack. So this race is obviously a more complicated race than the one I'm playing at the moment. We've got two lumber. I'm going to upgrade the halls of the dead because it's an expensive one. And then that's going to get me stronger units. Ah, using that again because they're going for his base. So I just got to, got to keep using my mana on this. Um, I'll probably just get one of each building. So at least that way I'm covering my bases. Swamp Market is going to give me extra gold over time. I'm not sure that's going to be enough time for that though. Produce 10 mana maybe would be better for your builder every 30 seconds. Because we're still a bit on edge. There's a monster though that's going to distract us. Ooh, build quick. Thank you. So now the pressure is on the Dower Child. If killed by a friendly source, transforms into a horror. That's a mutant, right? So if I killed my own unit. Damn. We managed to... I saved you, buddy. <laughs> I completely saved you. I'm going to take full credit for this. I'm going to guess that's random pick, pick move, considering uh, he's complaining. Okay. I might go for another evil eye. 
because I fancy it. Oh! I looked away and there he goes. Gain 100 gold and deal 30 damage. Oh, well, I can take the damage for the gold. Keep the pressure on, boys. I don't know what to really build now because it's now a one versus one. That monster's going to cause some trouble for a while, so maybe go for something for gold. Because that monster's going to keep both of us busy for now. Random is green. Okay. Which character of the office would I be? I don't know, actually. Is that the American or the UK one? Either way, I don't know. I don't think I really fit in, necessarily, to any character that's been shown on that show. I think I'm going to have to use this in a moment. Hang in there. I'd love to. Job done. Yeah, just carry on hanging in there. I'm not going to use anything for the moment. Take double damage from spells if a murloc dies. Summon, restore all murlocs to full life. That's good timing. No, he's going to get it. I was, I should have probably used that just to kill him. but And then kill the monster. But again, like... Hindsight is a powerful thing. I want to go the strangling fruits now because it was said that was going to be good for like just making it painful for your opponent. So I'm going to use this now because there's a hell of a lot to kill there. Uh, I don't know. Summon two marks. Let's just put the pressure on. Then I can use this to damage a random enemy base, and I've got 22 charges. That could go higher, though. Let's try it. Boom! Quick pressure! Okay, let's go random again. Right, what have I got? For a fast swarm, build an igloo and set your base to heart. Build additional igloos next to each other for mana bonuses. Set igloos next to each other. Cast ice hunt to overwhelm your enemies with melee tasks. Okay, so... Igloo. What did it say? I've missed it. Oh, heart, heart. Heart. And igloos right next to each other. Just spam them. Yes. Job done. So then you get ice hunt. It's for each igloo building. And each building you control that touches an igloo. Summon one task. Okay. Who am I teamed up with this time? The Fessile Fuel. Fuel! He's got imbalanced hydras, but he's on my team. No, wait. That's not his. It's a monster. <laughs> okay, Troll Lodge. Life region. The Cold Throne. Obelisk. Glacier, which gives mana. And the Frost Altar, which gives gold. Heck, I've got to get at least one of those, yeah. And then we'll go crazy. Because at least I'm getting gold early on. And it doesn't look like we're in trouble at the moment. Summon one Wendigo. So they train tasks. For each igloo and each non-igloo building you control. And I can either summon gnolls or... One of you train a unit that deals 12 damage to a random enemy unit. Gain life equal to your current gold. When you choose this base, gain 300 gold. One of you train a unit, produce... One of you train a unit, produce 25 gold. That's pretty good. Don't really need the health on the building at the moment, but unless it just increases it, I'm taking it. We've gone, gr we've gone greed. Job done. 25 gold produced. Oh, I see. That's something you still have to research. Uh, 
We're going to get loads of gold. And spam units for the gold. They're beating up my ally. So you can see, got black barracks, blacksmith, altar of darkness, acolytes. Who's gonna get the dragon? It's gonna be my buddy. 157 gold to him. I thought it was a lot of gold at first when it said like 260, but it's actually not too much. Because buildings are like 700 to 900 gold, so thankfully it doesn't come all the way down to like getting lucky on those last hits. Use my tusk thing for more gold. Oh yeah, I've got mana, and I? For each igloo and building you control, set attacks, okay. Boom. Yeah, you're right. I capped on mana, so I should definitely do something about that. And I'm just going to increase the gold. I don't know what that was, but it hurt. That summons a Wendigo for each unit. I remember reading that one, so I figured I'm just going to go do that, because that's a lot of units on the field. Give me the monster. Give me, cash. Give me a bit of breathing space. Did I get a whole bunch of gold for all of those units as well? That's 100 mana, though. They ain't cheap. There's a lot of units again. I could wait until 100, though. Because they summon a lot of units as well, because of these gnolls. Which makes this ability even stronger, I think. I want more units. I want even more. It's time for more. Boom! Get them, boys. I think they only live for like 15 seconds. Oh, they got lucky. A monster bloody spawn and distracted all of them. What are you spawning that monster for? Talk about luckers. I might have to summon another one of these in a moment. Yep, I'm going to do it. Boom! Come on, facile fuel. Fool, I can't say your name properly, but come on. Pick it up. Get it together. I feel like I'm having to do some carrying here. Job done. Plus 15 mana, you say? So if I build that frost altar, I get another one of those Wendigo things, don't I? I get two charges of it. Although I've still got so many of these, I can't sell them. Is that a pig? It's a pig there. Get them, boys. This is a tough round, this one. I'm going to go for more gold over time. Alright, no monsters to distract our attacks for the time being, so that's okay. Yeah, which one gives mana regeneration? Maybe I'll just get one of each building to try to understand the rest. I don't know what it is that it does really. But... Oh, that's one big beastie boy. That's a lot of spoilers. Blizzard would have been pretty amazing at this point. Getting a lot of gold. Job done. Job done. Job done. Getting a lot of mana now. Job done. Yeah. 
Let the mana freeze all unfrozen enemy unit. <laughs> Anything else I can spend my gold on? Otherwise you just destroy buildings. Oh, you can upgrade actually. Well, no you can't. I thought you could. Yeah, it's a bit tough actually. Spending your gold. It's not even too much more to spend on. I want to get that blizzard! I'm going to destroy some buildings. Get more mana regeneration. I think it's just coming about mana now. It actually costs you mana, uh, gold to destroy the building as well. Uh oh. That's not good. Ah. <laughs> oh. Run out of ideas there. Like I built everything and I didn't feel like we were winning enough. So yeah. Maybe not a good late game race. I hate working with these people. Okay. Early aggression, or you can also build a sanctum. Set your base to bazaar, mana storm, defensively and surround your sanctum with troves. Sanctum with troves. Sanctum with troves. Sanctum with Troves Bazaar. What's the hold up? Where's the Sanctum? I feel edgy. And then Troves. Deal X damage to every unit where X is your builder's current mana. Before the cost of this spell divided by 10. You're going to make me do that much math. I've been teamed up with the Dower Child again. The only downside is, is if we win, he also gets closer towards the five points needed. Must be avenged. More gold is required. My pleasure. So I'm partly tempted to build like that kind of staggered build, but then you run out of space more quickly. Transform one friendly into gold. Wrecked. Can transform into gold quickly. Whenever your builder casts a spell. Oh, don't let them kill it. It's mine. Oh, you get an illusion. Who wants gold? Outstanding. Me. Job done. I smell magic. Spellbreaker's back in town. I just use that because he was about to get one shot there, and I get gold for it, and I've almost capped. Congratulations on the gold, though. But we do get the lumber, which can be spent on dealing with this annoying tunneler. Plus 50 gold. I'm a bit worried about getting gold, though, because I capped on gold pretty quickly last game. Maybe I'll just save up for the most expensive stuff. I mean, this will produce units every time I produce gold, and I'm getting gold from the troves, so at least that's going to be getting me units and gold at the same time, but I've got to get a free lumber for that. And it says to mess up the troves. My people must be avenged. It shall be done. Greedy Mesmer. Greedy, greedy Mesmer. <laughs> the ghost wolf knows what's up. 
Hey, Mr. UK and I oh, Legion TD request. Pure greed mode. Only Dino sends allowed. It does not matter which team wins. Only winner is whoever ends the game with highest value. IDK, which mode is best for greed? So do a straw poll, maybe. Cheers. Okay, there's a few conditions there. I'll try to take those all on board. Thank you very much, there, Baker Broster, an early supporter of the channel. Let's, uh, yeah. When the time comes, I'll give that a little bit more thought. At the moment, I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around this. So I've surrounded the sanctum. Whenever your builder casts a spell, which I will be casting a spell, so we're just going to put that down. And I'll just put down at least one of each or something. Before I build anything else. Whenever your builder casts a spell, this restores two mana. And that'll do, I think. So we've got these abilities, drain mana from a random enemy builder. Let's just do that. Because at least that's going to use up the mana. And it hurts the enemy. Then you got Summon Illusions, which seems like a desperate sort of thing. Your builder gains 100 mana, then deals 25 damage to your base. Can I repair my base? I've almost got enough for the tavern, and that's going to summon whenever I produce gold. So I'm just going to get, you know, the other buildings sort of like sporadically built amongst one another. Because I don't think I need any more treasure troves. And then we're pretty much capped in the moment. Because I'm not even sure. I haven't had too much time to read up on what they're doing. The damage is being done. The pressure is in. Let's get the tavern. And we should summon a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to do a mana burn again. Which is definitely putting a lot of pressure. Oh, he's going down. That's another point to us. Okay, random once more. So we got. Try to send your base to Necropolis. Oh, this was the Necropolis and Strangle. Otherwise, you can do the Bazaar and Swamp Markets. So, Bazaar, Swamp Markets. So, use Swamp Guard attacks. Thankfully, when that text disappears, you can just come over here on your builder and see what they said. Build Swamp Markets. Use Swamp Guard. So stacks all at once. Hang on a second, I got a cultist again. Interesting. But swamp market. Oh, more gold. Okay, so let's try this again. You get swamp guards, take double damage from spells. I like how someone's already done a bunch of damage to my base. Aye! Yeah, you go fight that monster. Give me some time. All I've gone and done is produce gold. Because it's told me to. So it's not my fault. I've been, I've been forced to produce gold. Produce 100 gold every 40 seconds. Swamp Guard. So that gives me those units. 90 mana. There's the gold. Thank you very much. Any other ideas? So Swamp Markets. Use Swamp Guard stacks all at once to apply heavy pressure. So you want to just basically get max mana and then just blow through them all, I assume. Since Murlocs are good at surviving. Is there anything that bases off Murlocs? If killed by a friendly source, transform into a horror. A sort of life equal to 100% attack spawns something... Jellies. Evil Eye. I'll go another Swamp Market. That's mana. So mana's pretty good on this builder, I think. Whenever a building touching an Evil Eye trains a unit, and I'm not training any units at the moment, nor do I have an Evil Eye, so I'm not getting the stacks on that. More gold is required. Insufficient mana. Okay. I'm gonna go evil eye. What are you doing to my murlocs? Then I'm gonna get buildings that produce units. 
Such as the muck. We'll get the jelly pit. Because I think we did the muck wounds last time. Job done. Who'd you want to kill? We'll give him. So uh, when it says touching, when a building is touching another building, I don't know if it counts if it's diagonal. I'll make an assumption that it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Protect my base. I might just save up for the tavern again. Or oh, we can go for a mansion this time. Whenever you produce train gold with a building, restore 20 life to your base. Wow, damn. You kill? That's pretty darn good. I'd love to. Job done. Quite handy since uh, Captain Rifleman is smacking me about the face. Jeez. Give me the swamp market. Give me the extra lumber. My swamp jellies are trying to keep them busy for the time being. Yay, the monsters spawn. That's good. Because we get one lumber at the end of that, and then I can go mansion. The monster's here to keep things in check. I can try, Pega, yeah. I did have another game I wanted to play. Oh my, dies. It's not good, I'm going to have to blow through this. I'm going to die. Wait, 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 we've got the mansion. Quick. Mansion, now give me some life back. Because me almost dead. Plus 20 life, restore when you produce gold after 30 seconds. Summer 1 will probably go with something like that. A bit more late game. Who'd you wanna kill? And I'll get some more units to defend myself. Because these should slowly be getting my health back. Unless I get, like, insta get by these pretty powerful rifles. Like, he's doing one or five damage. So, good. Monster spawn. Just buys more time. Okay. Pega, Pega. Pika, Pika. You can do it, Lucky Rogue. Kill that monster. Yeah. He didn't want to let you have it. But it's yours, my friend. Oi, why are you attacking my base? Get out of it. I'm going to have to spawn units again. It's not fun. Those jellies seem kind of garbage. I thought the jellies might be better at saving time because they absorb life equal to 100% of attack. Oh, the rifles! <laughs> rifles OP. Man, that was rough. I was like trying to keep myself alive, but then the rifles just come back more and more. Don't think we're going to get the win this time. Which is bad, because it means that Dower Child now gets the win. Which puts him closer to the total wins. So the worst case scenario would be if I was teamed up with Dower Child now. Because then I'd almost have to deliberately lose. Right, okay, I'm not... This workshop, okay. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna depend on stealing monster kills. So, Nexus workshop. The engine's running. I'm all geared up. Workshop with generators. So the generator is going to produce gyrocopters. What you got? 
Let's roll out. Job done. Deal 30 damage to a single random enemy base. Plus 10 damage for each friendly inorganic unit. So the more units I got, I can do more damage to the bases. Restore two life to a friendly... Then restore ten life to your base. The engine's running. More gold is required. More gold is required. I'm on top of it. Job done. Get him, boys. This is it. Your time to shine. No. That's not good. They're going to steal it. Wait. Faxel managed to steal it because he's got the rifles. He's got the rifles. we got to keep him alive. How do we keep him alive until he messes enough rifles? So that produces gold. I don't even think that's that necessary. Gold seems not that difficult to come across. Plus seven damage to a random enemy whenever you cast a spell. Well, I may as well cast something because I'm capped. What you got? Summon one celestial. Whenever you'll be able to cast a spell. Nah. Double the charges of all spells in your inventory. Whenever you'll be able to cast a spell from inventory, you get plus three mana. See, that sounds Our interesting. Okay, so we're going to go with running. that. We're going to surround this yeah. fully and then get another oh, workshop, good. maybe. Gotta heal the gyros, yeah. Gyro seem kind of bad. What about demolition lab? Let's roll out. Job done. We have lift off. <sighs> what you got? Kill it. I'm How do I spawn up. something to kill it? Oh well, it went to Fassar. All systems go. I don't like what's about to happen now. What you got? I'm on top of it. I'm not sure about this. I'm just in trouble and it doesn't seem like I'm building enough units. Time for a monster to spawn there. All systems go. Siege tanks are pretty pricey. I'm all geared up. Keep the keep building the rifles. I just gotta keep myself alive, so maybe I'll save up for a I'm not actually getting much gold this time around now. Yeah. Can I survive? Build against March of the Machine, summon six goblins. See, that's better. At least those are units that are going to do something. For when I get attacked. I need some gold coming in. And More then I can go to the factory. More gold is required. More gold is required. I can handle that. More gold is required. More gold is required. I can handle that. Job done. I just wanted to get the kill. So I just pressed what a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's roll out. Engine's running. I didn't want to miss out on that kill. Oh, there's so many units. What do I do first? Is that? This is going to give me more mana, which is pretty important. Hey, stop it. Fuck. I'm like, out. I'm out of juice. you got to kill him quicker. Because I'm like completely out of juice. 
I don't have money either, so like anything I This is horrible. Give me more mana. Like those gyrocopters come out and they just get like one shot. But I've got to save like another double my gold. I gotta spam this to try to get that one right. Yeah, he's gone. Really? Oh my god, this is BS! This is BS! I cannot do anything against that. Ah, oh, you, you had the rifles, man. You done gone goofed. You had the rifles, it was up to you. They're OP. I couldn't do anything else. The gyros sucked. They're so expensive for what they are. It's like, you get one gyro and it dies within like two seconds of being built. <laughs> I thought it's a pretty good map, actually. At least I got second players, technically. GG! Let's build and brawl. Pretty good map for your buddies if you got like a small land party or something. There's a few of you. You get in like different situations and you just try to deal with it.